speaking of Nashville, we have something that I call the Nashville Drone Chords. I also call them the super secret songwriter chords that everybody should know. This is a standard G, C, D. Now I'm changing my fingering around a little bit and I'm playing this G chord. Now I've added this fretted note on my B string. Then I'm just moving my first and second fingers. That's called a C ninth. Then I'm just moving my first finger over. That's a D suspended chord or a D sus chord. Back to the G. Now these chords make terrific, what I call cushion chords. They really set up the melody and the vocal. They give you, they frame you where you've got a lot of room on the side. And the reason they do that are, uh, if I were to play like, Seen it written and I heard it told That a man does things with gold Drives him crazy and makes him old Before his time The melody is there vocally, but there's also this kind of counter melody. Seen it written and I heard it told That a man does things with gold And you really feel a chord, 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 chord uh, the chords are sort of drawing attention to the fact that they're changing. But when I have that drone going through it, seen it written and I heard it told that a man does things for gold, drives him crazy and makes him old before his time. The, the chord pattern stays much more constant. I can also use these in combinations of major and minor chords. This is my G. If I just lift up my first, uh, my second finger on the sixth string, it's an E minor seventh chord. If I go to um, my C ninth chord and I open up the fifth string, it's kind of like an A seventh suspended kind of chord. Then I can go to my D sus to a D to a G. Now, it makes for a smoother transition. If I'm playing... It's major chord and a minor chord and a happy chord and a sad chord. Um, and again, I might very well want that drastic change. But it takes a lot away from the melody. If I'm just playing... Kind of something like... A, I want to tell you, baby, how I feel each time you kiss me, it's so oh, so real. You can really hear the melody a lot better because there's no counter melody going on in the chords. <laughs> 